Hola, buenos días. Uh, soy Ruth. Hoy es día 78 de 100 Days of Spanish and I'm going to give you so much in la clase de hoy. We're going to do um, talking about traveling and talking about the different areas of the country, north, south, east and west and what's in the country. Uh, I'm going to tell you how to use used to verbs um, and if you stay to the end, I'm going to tell you a really cool thing about window shopping that connects with traveling and that's going to help you remember that word forever. Okay, so stay for that. Bueno, let's make a start with the word viajar. Viajar means to travel and it sounds really foreign until you think that a voyage is un viaje and suddenly viajar, meaning to travel, makes perfecto, uh, sentido perfecto. <laughs> I also want to do the word trabajar, which means to work, okay? So, hi ho, hi ho, is off to trabajo. You're going to remember that too. And if we're going to use the words used to in English, in Espanol that's going to be a verb ending. It's going to be either ia, which sounds like our ears, Ia, or it's going to be aba, which sounds like aba, el grupo musical de Suecia. <laughs> I think Suecia. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> pardon. Uh, so if you want to say uh, to live, that's vivir, and I used to live will be vivia with the ear. Uh, I, uh, to have is tener. And I used to have is tenia, okay? Um, then the ABBA ones are the AR verbs. So you have viajar is to travel. And I used to travel viajaba. Trabajar is to work. So what will I used to work be? Trabajaba. It's a lovely word. It sounds like Fred Flintstone saying it. Trabajaba. <laughs> Trabajaba. Ok, en contexto. Uh, cuando vivía en Perú, trabajaba de lunes a viernes, from Monday to Friday. And um, tenía los fines de semana, the weekends, libres. Viajaba los fines de semana. ¿Entiendes? You understand? Listen un poco más rápido. Cuando vivía en Perú, tenía los fines de semana libres. Viajaba los fines de semana. Okay. Uh, let's go into some words of frequency. You can have always, which is siempre. I've seen that word siempre en los supermercados. It's some kind of producto. Always, siempre. Okay? Uh, in fact, sempre, I think, in music, if you, if you read music, means uh, always keep it steady. So, siempre, always. I always traveled. I always used to travel. How will you say that? Siempre viajaba. Or, I always used to work. Siempre trabajaba. Or, I always used to have the weekends free. Siempre tenía los fines de semana libres. Okay? Bien. Uh, now let's do uh, from time to time. So one time is una vez. Vez is the time bit. Okay? And it comes actually from the same ancient word that gives us week in English, but they don't sound very similar anymore. They've just got a common ancestor. So, uh, Ves is time, una vez is one time, dos veces, two times, <laughs> and then de vez en cuando. That means from time to time. It translates of, of time, in, when. Oh, it doesn't make sense at all. But let's just say it means from time to time. De vez en cuando. Okay? De vez en cuando. Viajaba por los fines de semana. Los fines de semana, perdón. Okay? 
Uh, and then let's have the word never as well. It's so, such a sad word, but it sounds great. Never, there are two words that both mean never. Nunca, doesn't that sound nice? Nunca, nunca, nunca viajaba. <laughs> and jamás, <laughs> that sounds good too. And if you want to say never ever, nunca jamás, but you can use either one of them on their own. Hamas is closely related to jamais in French. So if you speak French, jamais jamás, okay? Jamás viajaba. <laughs> Porque me gusta viajar. Okay, uh, now let's move um, into talking about the north, south, east, west. Okay, they're so easy. North is el norte, south is el sur, east, este, west, oeste. Okay. Cuando vivía en Perú, viajaba por el norte, por el sur y por el este. A la selva, to the jungle. ¿Sí? Uh, o al oeste de Perú hay el mar, el océano pacífico. Uh, y viajaba ahí también hay islas uh, cerca de Paracas and they're called uh, Las Islas, Islas Ballestas, something like that, a beautiful, beautiful wildlife. It's like uh, the Galapagos of Peru. So don't miss it if you go to Peru. Uh, viajaba por el norte, por el sur, por el este y por el oeste. See? Uh, right, have you got your bolly in y your papel? What kind of things can you see? Let's make una lista. Las islas. Las montañas are the mountains. La costa is the coast. Los parques nacionales, the national park, or los parques naturales. For beautiful walking, beautiful sightseeing. Um, los ríos, have I mentioned them? Los ríos, the rivers. Los lagos the lakes. Uh, y fi finalmente, los pueblos are the towns and the cities are the citadels, las ciudades. Okay? So, uh, you want to see lots and lots, muchas, muchas cosas cuando viajas. Uh, right, I said I was going to tell you a really, really cool thing about how the Spanish say, say shop windows and window shopping and how that connects with traveling. Okay, well, this is mi recomendación, Lonely Planet. I love Lonely Planet. Get the book, Antes de Viajar. Quiero viajar por el sur de España. Entonces tengo ese libro. Y quiero hacer planes. A shop window is, well you could say una vitrina, but I don't like that word. I like the word escaparate. Escaparate is a shop window and you, you can escape into a world of fantasy when you are window shopping, uh, can't you? So mira is to look, mira escaparates is window shopping. Y um, hacer planes de viajes con uh, Lonely Planet es una forma de mirar escaparates para viajar. And I like the, 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 the sound of the word escaparate. It sounds a little bit like escape, doesn't it? So it's, it's an escape to make that fantasy. It's escape to make that plan. It's escape to mira escaparates y hacer planes de viajar. Okay, you're never going to forget that. Subscribe to this channel for more things like that every day on 100 Days of Spanish. And uh, come back mañana. I'm going to talk about a lovely, lovely sounding words. Uh, uh, word, uh, <laughs> luggage. I love it. Uh, and we're going to talk about, I'm going to talk about and perhaps you can join me in talking about what happens when your luggage goes missing. So, vuelve mañana 
para esa clase and I'll see you mañana. Adiós.